All right. It is the tale of two auto industries in the United States, the big three in Detroit, on the verge of collapse, while a very different auto industry flourishing where else but down south, mostly foreign-owned and non-unionized. Toyota, Honda, BMW plants throughout the south facing uh, very much better than Detroit. So what in the world is going on there? Jonathan Seri is live from the former GM plant in Doraville, uh, Georgia. And, you know, why are foreign automakers in the south doing so much better? Explain that. Well, several reasons. For one, they're not burdened by the same legacy costs as automakers in Detroit. By legacy costs, we're talking about pensions, retirement, health benefits, things like that. Also, they're building plants in more rural, open areas, so that allows suppliers to locate nearby, whereas this GM plant that I'm standing in front of is right in the middle of metro Atlanta, uh, surrounded by an interstate, some busy highways, not much room for expansion and hard to get suppliers in here. That's allowing the southern automakers, the foreign automakers in the South, to be more nimble and uh, change the products to consumer demand. Detroit's been very slow to meet American consumer demand for more fuel-efficient cars, so that's another thing that's hurting them. Also, the foreign automakers in the South are running largely non-union plants, and so while they are paying competitive wages, you may be making around 50000 which is better than many uh, other blue-collar jobs uh, here in the South, it's nowhere near the six-digit salaries that many union auto workers are making in Detroit. Yeah, I mean, I think it's $70 per employee for the union uh, versus non-union, like, 40 or 43. President-elect Obama has promised to sign the Employee Free Choice Act. Essentially, that would allow workers to unionize, gentlemen, without a secret uh, ballot election. How, how might that affect the southern auto industry? Still unclear, we spoke with Les Huff, who's an auto industry analyst based here in Atlanta. He says that even if this bill is signed into law, which uh, President-elect Obama says he will do if it arrives at his desk, Les Huff says it's unclear that southern auto workers would want to unionize. These foreign auto plants operating in the south, being relatively new, don't have the same history of layoffs and furloughs, so there's a lot more trust between labor and management here in the south. Yeah. Essentially, they're auto companies that run much better than American auto companies. Jonathan Seri in Georgia. Jonathan, thanks very much. Sir,